A point source with luminous intensity I0 is at a distance S from a concave mirror whose focal length is F. We need to find the luminous intensity of the reflected ray if the reflection coefficient of the mirror is 0.8. So reflection coefficient means 0.8, the 80 percent of the light is getting reflected, and 20 percent of the light is being absorbed by the mirror. And luminous intensity that is defined as light energy emitted per second per unit solid angle. So solid angle is defined as so suppose you have a small area A at a distance L. And it looks like a circle, but this is actually this area represents the part of that uh, part of the sphere, the area of that part of the sphere, which is subtending this angle omega at the center. So then the omega is defined as a upon l square. So luminous intensity is light energy emitted per second per unit solid angle. So in this particular case, we can say that light energy falling on this area a will be I naught omega. So this is light energy per unit solid angle. So if you multiply intensity by solid angle, you get the total energy falling on that area. Actually in one second. <laughs> so omega we write as A by L square. So we are going to use this formula in our case. So this was just a recap of what luminous intensity is. Let me just write here per second also. <coughs> All right. So from the definition of luminous intensity, energy falling on this area is I naught omega. Omega is A by L square. Now what is happening? The source is at a distance S from the mirror. So this light ray will be falling on the mirror and then it will be getting reflected. So where it's getting reflected that, uh, so you can imagine just extend these rays and wherever these rays fall, that will be the image of this source. So to the people who are standing here, it to, there will appear to a secondary source here, which from which the light is being coming out. And for that secondary source, we need to find the luminous intensity. So if this is the source, so these rays are coming, these rays appear to be coming from this source. So what is the luminous intensity of this source? That's what we need to find. So our approach is we are going to first find out how much energy is falling on this mirror because of this source. And we know that 0.8 times of that is getting reflected. So that will be the total energy which is passing through this cone. And if you know that energy and if you know that solid angle and we know this area also. So with that energy, with that solid angle, we should be able to calculate the new luminous intensity of this secondary source. So again, luminous intensity is energy emitted per second per unit solid angle. So we can uh, forget the per second part because initial intensity is also given as I not only, so that is also per second. So whatever is given, we are going to calculate per second. So if 100, uh, the, the 100 watt is falling, then the 100 watt is getting, sorry, 0.8 times 100 watt is getting reflected. And that appears to be coming from here. So that energy, so that energy divided by solid angle, which is subtended by this source will give us the new intensity. So let's do that. So in order to find the omega, we need area and L square. So area will just get from the initial source and L square we will get if we find this distance. So to get this distance, first uh, just find the position of the image. So we'll use the formula for the mirror. V is equal to UF upon U minus F. U is minus 20 because S is 20 and F for the mirror is minus 25 and again we'll do minus 20 minus minus 25 we'll get L as 100. So we got V as plus 100 which of course means image is towards right at a distance of 100 centimeters. So L is 100. 
And now let's calculate intensity. So energy reflected by the mirror is eta times energy incident on mirror. So energy incident on mirror is I naught into omega one and energy reflected by the mirror is I two into omega two. I naught is given in the problem. Omega one we will calculate. So omega one we can see in these cases is A by L square. So if this area is A, omega one will be A by S square and omega two will be A upon L square. So in I naught omega one, we are considering the, this is the omega one. Let me write also. So this is omega one, which is A by S square. And this is omega two, which is A by L square. And energy is intensity into omega. So I two omega two is eta times I naught omega one. So we'll see A will get canceled and, 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 and we'll get I two as eta L square by square I naught. And now we'll just put the values of L and S and I naught and get our answer 2000 candela. So you can see the initial intensity was just 100 candela and it has increased by 20 times. So this is how intensity of the vehicle headlights and torches is also increased. So if you just if you just put a, if you don't have this mirror uh, at the back of your headlights of the car, so you can imagine that the intensity will be very, very less because this energy is just getting uh, spread out. But when you put a concave mirror, that energy gets focused. And here actually you are not able to visualize that because in the diagram, I have not drawn L in proportion. So you can see S is 20 and L comes to be 100. So this distance is actually five times of distance. So this source will be somewhere around here. And if it is further away, you can see that these lines will be almost parallel. So it's a very high intensity light beam. And that's how your torch lights also work. All right.